Hello, my name is Christopher Martinson. I work as field application engineer at Knowhow Solution. In this video, I will show you how to look at variables in Trace32. So let's first switch to Trace32. There are many ways to look at variables in Trace32 and I will show you some of the ways in this video. First of all, I would like to show you the locals. So in the view menu, you have locals. This window will always show you the local variables that are in the function that you are standing in right now. So right now I'm standing in the function know how demo and we see the values of the local variables that are in this function. If I start single stepping my code a little bit, you will see the content of this window is changing. So it will always display the locals in the function that you are in right now. If you would like to look at the specific variable, for example the sing variable here, if you quickly just want to see the value of it, you can just click on it and you will see the value below the command line. But if you would like to see it in a window, you can just right click on it and select view in window. There is also an add to watch window, it's a similar uh, type of window, but I prefer the view in window. So here we have a window showing the array called sing a. But there are other ways to locate your variables and one of them is to use the symbol browser. You can use find it in the view menu, symbols, browse. And here you can just start typing in the name of your variable and then you can just right click on it and select view and window. So now I did select another array which is of type float as you can see so but it was one more way to open this window to display a variable the third way is to use the command line and if you op look at the command th uh, that you see here on top of the window so the command for opening this window is var.view or you can shorten it by using just v.v so v.v and then you all you need to do is type in the name of your variable and you can use tab completion to select the variable that you would like to look at. So again this is a similar window just open in a different way. You can format the uh, the data that you see in your in your window. You can do that in uh, several different ways. And one way is to just right click on a variable here in the var.view window and select format. And here you can select how you like the data of this uh, variable to be displayed. For example, you can select that you like to see the values in decimal value or in hex or maybe both. Uh, you could, since this is an array, you, it might be useful to see the indexes of the array and maybe you would like to see the type and also the location. So, as you can see now, we see a lot more information. We see that this is an integer array, 100 element, elements, and we also see the location, where it's stored in memory, on well, that 20 million something, and we see the indexes of the elements, and we see the data in both decimal form and in hexadecimal form. If we like to do something similar from the command line, you can do that. Again, we go to the command line and use the command v.v and to format the display of variable variables, you can use this button formats or just type in this character, the percent character. And as you can see, when we type that in, the, the buttons below the command line is changing with all the formatting options that we have. So, for example, we can select the display it in binary form and we also like to see, yeah, Maybe that's it. And then the, the name of the variable, like that. So now we are displaying this variable in binary form. If you have structures in, in your application, 
but for example we can find that in this function struct handler here we have a structure course stutter nsm and i would like to add that to a window right like this and as you can see it will automatically be displayed with all all the formatting proper for all the types it has in this structure and if you want to see again it might be useful to see the actual type of it like this and we can see this as a struct called knowhow struct main but here in this window or in this function we also have a pointer to this structure or to a structure and if you would like to look at that variable the pointer it will only show you the the address where it points to because the debugger can't tell by the looking at the symbol information what what type it's pointing to so if we want to display this window in similar way as the the when I was looking at the structure over here we need to tell the debugger what point type it's pointing to so you can do that from the command line so I right click on the top of this window to copy the command to the command line and then before the variable name I add the type like this. It's a pointer to a know-how struct main. And as you can see now you see similar data here in this window as in the the window top on top of it. Okay. You can also change uh, v variable values so for example in my application I have a variable called SW to control what part of the code I'm executing here in this demo application so if you want to change the value of this one you can just double click on it like this then you see the command and the command line it's the command is just V and then the name of the variable and then you just need to set the value to it like this so now we did change the value value of SW variable to 4. The reason for doing that is that I would like to run this part of the code down here. So if I just select go till and then we did run to this part of the code. So because in this leaf of Julia function I have another variable that I would like to show one feature. So we have the leaf of variable here. And if I open that in a window and then start the execution, as you can see, the content or the values of this elements in this array is not updated when we're executing, while we're executing. But if you want that, you can change the formatting option of this variable, right click and select in format and then check the E option, like that. As you can see now, we actually the values of this variable is actually updated when the CPU is executing. Depending on the CPU architecture that you are debugging, this will influence the real-time behavior or not. In my case, I have a Cortex-M device and the Cortex-M family of devices do support that the debugger can read the memory while you are executing your code. So that means that it will not affect the real-time behavior of the application. Then uh, one other way I would like to look at the variable I would like to use this variable to show and that is if you would like to see it in a graphical way. If you right click on it, select others, view graphical and then I'm using the zoom full button here. Now as you can see we are looking at this array in a graphical way. And it's also updated during runtime. Okay, so this was a very, very short introduction to how to look at variables inside of Trace32. Thanks for watching.